Hey guys, Saru Maru with Saru TV here. Uh, about to do an unboxing for the Vio Z Canvas um, two in one notebook uh, laptop combination. Um, this just came in today. We're going to go ahead and unbox it and uh, see what's inside. So, the Bio brand of computers once belonged to Sony. They've since um, sold their computer business uh, aspect of things to another company who has kept the Bio name. And they're still Bios, just they are just, they're not released by Sony. So we've got some fancy boxing here. I believe um, the bios are still manufactured in Japan or they're, they're still by a, they're still manufactured by a Japanese company. It's just no longer Sony. Um, I forget the name of the company that manufactures these. That is kind of a bummer. So here we go. We've got the original bio logo that everyone is familiar with. They've kept that. It's nice and sleek. There's no need to really change it. Um, I've owned in the past two Sony Bio computers, a, a laptop in the early 2000s, and then a, a netbook, a Sony Bio netbook later on, and I really loved it, and it, it worked great. So it looks like, I'm not sure if this is the computer itself, so far the packaging is really, really nice. Um, This is just going to be an unboxing. I'll talk about the actual laptop later, or about the tablet at, at a later time. Um, here's what the laptop or the tablet looks like. It's actually really sleek, um, very nice. And I just got my fingerprints all over it. We'll, we'll go to back to this in a second. See what else is in here. So far, I really like the packaging for it. This here must be the keyboard. Yep, I can feel me pressing on the keys now. So this is the keyboard for it. Also has the bio branding on it. On the other side we have the actual keyboard. The keyboard itself is super thin with a nice um, aluminum alloy finish or actual aluminum, I'm not sure. Um, but it looks it looks phenomenal and I believe it's either YouTube or infrared, I don't know yet. This is all very new still, and apparently it does have power. It's got an on switch um, in there, and the keys actually feel really nice. They do. So we'll set this down for now. Come back to that. <clears throat> Let's delve in further. Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> Looks like we've got a digitizer, or I'm sorry, a pen for the digitizer. Um, I believe, uh, unlike Surface Pros and some other tablets that I've shown off on this channel that use Wacom uh, drivers and Wacom technology, this is uh, something called Entrig technology, which they're previous bios used when it was still under the Sony brand. Um, looks very nice, comes with a pen, comes with a nib. Apparently these take batteries. It's got one uh, AAA battery included. We'll come back to that. All the standard stuff that you would find 
with any computer, your manuals and such, we won't. Thank you for purchasing blah blah blah. A very sleek um, microfiber cloth with a uh, what is this? The embossed logo into the in the fabric itself. You can't really see it uh, in the camera, I don't think, but it, it's very nice. Let's just say that it's, it's lovely. And we have some panels here. This is likely going to be the power. That is correct. Uh, looks like we've got a rubber um, grip for the pen, which is nice, very nice. Looks like um, this is a clip for the side of, of the tablet. You adhere this to the side and it lets you clip your pen, which is nice. But I believe the pen itself is also magnetic, so if you don't want to use the clip, standard power. If you don't want to use the clip, you don't have to. More of the power. Is that it? Yep. That is it. So very cool so far. Alright, so let's take a look at everything that we got here. We've got our tablet, which I should probably charge before turning on. We've got your instructions, and we've got the pen. Now, the model that I have, um, I'm not exactly sure what the model number is. I'll put it in, this, in the description. But this one contains um, Haswell uh, processor, an Intel i7 Haswell fourth generation Intel processor, quad core at 2.2 gigahertz, I believe. Um, eight gigabytes of RAM. So this should be more than plenty to do various different things other than Photoshop is, is quite the resource hog and I, I do use Photoshop. Uh, Art Rage should run just fine. I usually draw everything in about 300 DPI. Um, all of the Henshin Engine stuff that I do is usually at 300 DPI. Here's the pen. The pen itself is nice and solid. I don't know that I'm going to be using the um, grip for it. I guess I'll put it on. It would have been nice had it come with more than one pen, but at the price point, it's not too bad. I believe these on Amazon right now you can probably get somewhere around the $1,200 mark, if I'm not mistaken, for this particular model. Now this is made in China. So they are a Japanese manufacturer, but much like any other manufacturer nowadays, everything is manufactured in China because it's cheaper to do so. Ah, there we go. So with the pen, it feels nice and heavy. Now the pen itself is a beautiful pen. It's gorgeous. It's got a, a nice metal finish to it. Um, you've got some function buttons, I assume. Um, they're either programmable functions or erase functions, I don't know. You can't turn it around like you could with some of the Wacom, Wacom, like uh, Intuos pens, but I don't really care because I, I never made use of that anyway. I'm a Control Z kind of guy, and um, the fact that the keyboard is separate makes it really nice too because you can actually take the keyboard and just set it alongside your computer. So if you're drawing and you're the kind of person who uses keyboard functions with say Photoshop, your Control Z, Control Y, you need Shift to resize, Control to select multiple layers, or what have you, you can easily be drawing on one side very comfortably while doing your keyboard commands, you know? You'll be drawing, oh, I screwed up. Control Z, done. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Control Y, redo it, whatever. It's really nice. Now the keyboard itself, there's a little, looks like a little like power in it. Wow, I just got all sorts of schmutz all over the front of this. But um, it's got a little uh, powered maybe there. And we're seeing this, oh. Ooh, it's magnetic also. So it doesn't just sit there. 
you can carry this. Once you put the cover on here with the keyboard, it actually makes it about the size of a regular laptop. Uh, what I find um, impressive about the VIO uh, series of tablets, this one in particular, is all the ports that it's got on the side. This is a fully functional computer. You have two USB 3.0 ports, you've got a full size SD card slot, which is very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm really not fond of the micro SD slots that you find on the Surface and the Surface Pro. Um, I find that if I have to change them for whatever reason, they're very easy to lose because they're, they're, they're very small. Uh, I also find that media is much more cheaper when you buy uh, larger SD cards. Um, looks like you've got a, a mini display port, which was common with the Surface Pro series, um, I believe. That's what that is. Yeah, looks like a mini, mini display port. You've got a full-size HDMI port, so you've got multiple options. I don't know if you can video out using both of these at the same time, but that would be very nice, as the computer itself is powerful enough to run most things. Um, one of the things that I found really interesting about this tablet, however, is that it's got a full-size uh, Ethernet port. So this folds down ever so slightly to fit in your RJ45 or Cat5 or whatever the hell. Um, type of cable that is and it's it's full size which is nice because I was just recently at a hotel um, that had an Ethernet port uh, but I couldn't utilize it with my Surface Pro 2 because my Surface Pro 2 doesn't have an Ethernet port most tablets do not and uh, I was pretty much slave to their slow ass internet which really sucked but there you have it this is just an unboxing of the uh, I was going to say Sony VAIO, old habits die hard, of the VAIO Z Canvas um, made by whoever manufacturer. Um, a couple other things, I, I, this is, I don't know, that, that, that was the Ethernet port, I just showed that. Here's another cool thing about this tablet. It's got this really nice um, embossed VAIO logo right on the top there, beautiful. Um, We've got this stand. Ooh, that came out quite easy. There's some Japanese on it. Um, there's already some. Oh, it's not just my fingernails stuck in. Now check this out. This this stand. Not the best to maybe lay on your lap if you want to use it as a laptop. But if you do want to use it like a laptop, go get a laptop. Um, as this is just to hold the computer up. Now, you can't actually push this closed with your hands. It's, it's got a, um, you have to do it really roughly, but it's not made for you to push it in with your hand. Once you extend it, when you have the tablet sitting in the upright position, you can just very easily push it down and it, it will give you no resistance. You can just easily push it down. Say I want to start drawing something, I have it at this level, this is a nice level um, to keep things in. And I believe um, if they really did intend for this to stay up. Um, so that that makes it kind of hard. Well, well, actually, it, it seems to stay in this position, which is good. I usually draw um, at about a 30, 35 degree angle. Um, and this would be really nice if I'm drawing. I normally put things to wedge it in there on my Surface Pro if I'm drawing things. This way I don't have to really wedge anything in it. But if I push it down, it'll, it'll go down. But you have to actually apply some pretty serious force for, for, that to actually, for that to actually happen. But I really like it. The tablet's really nice and flush. Um, it stands very nicely, very beautiful. This is really sleek. I mean, it's it's what you're used to with a Sony product. Even though this is not a Sony product, you get that same type of build quality that you would with Sony products, and that that's probably what what they take after um, from purchasing the rights to use uh, the bio name. Um, they probably want to keep people uh, feeling familiar with with the product. So there you have it. This is the Sony Bio Z Canvas. 
Um, oh, sorry, this is the Vios Z canvas. And um, later on we will have a video actually showing this in motion. Um, showing me drawing on it and uh, doing various different things with it. But that is all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.